Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Girl Brianna. This is another episode of Tech Tuesdays here on my YouTube channel. Thanks again for stopping by today and before we get started if you could just like the video and subscribe that'll mean so much to me. Anyways, let's get started. So today I will be teaching you how to make a website using Hostinger. Hostinger is a web hosting service and on there you can make all sorts of cool websites either from scratch like uh, maybe you just wanna have some sort of service to host your website, or if you know absolutely nothing about making websites, like I'm talking about zip, nada, like, you know, something that even my grandma can figure out, then I highly recommend using Hostinger because they have very easy to use tools as well as 24 seven, 365 days a year support. So literally anybody can make a website through hosting there. It's very easy. And these days, most of us need a website of some sort, especially if you are a freelancer or especially if you're in this field, which is computer science or graphic design, photography, you'll be surprised how many professions these days need a website for their portfolio or just a way to showcase their work. Or maybe you are starting your own business and you need a website to host it on. Hosting there is great for that. So I will be showing you guys how I am making my very own website, techgirlbriana.com through Hostinger. Let's get started. All right, let's create the website. Let me just log in first. So this web hosting service, Hostinger, is what makes it unique in the market. They are focused on maximizing customer satisfaction by providing the highest quality service for affordable price. The proof is simple. Hostinger is able to provide such low cost service because of its custom built control panel. It enables us to serve much more reliable, fast and intuitive website hosting solutions with better performance and 24 seven, 365 live support. So the type of plan I have is the premium shared hosting plan. I recommend this one. You can also upgrade to a higher up one if you need that. But for my purposes, I like the premium. So this is my active site, techgirlbriana.com. For fun, I added a template before, but it needs a lot of work. So we can actually just go ahead and just change that out altogether because I was just playing around with it. But let me go ahead and show you how it looks like. So this is what my site looks like so far. It needs a lot of work. I just added like a few things on here. I haven't even changed the about section or contacts. I think I'll go ahead and stick with this template and I'll fix it up with you guys here in just a second. But um, I just wanna go ahead and show you guys how you can add your own template. So if you want to quickly make your website in five minutes after you go through all the prompts in the beginning where you set up your server and the domain name and just like verify it's you and stuff like that, then you can go to uh, this section. So you first go hosting and then you click the site you wanna work on just like this. So from home hosting and then techgirlbriana.com which is the website I'm working on. There are all these different settings on here, right? Pretty good, but if you want to import some sort of template and just quickly just set it up so it's not much work to do, you just click website builder, go to website builder, and they use zyro.com for the templates. And they have lots of beautiful, intuitive, and very responsive templates. See, you can either make them for a widescreen, a desktop, which is what I'm on, even a tablet. So this is how it looked like on my iPhone with, or my, sorry, my iPad with these dotted lines, a phone. So that's how it'll look like on my phone like this. Like I'll crop my photo a lot actually. So, but that's okay. Like you can also change that around. You can like click on and be like, Hey, actually I don't want it to crop. So there will be a setting here. Like you can lock it in different settings and stuff. But there are so many templates you can choose from. They're really beautiful as well. I'm in love with this one. So because I like this one so much, I'm just going to go ahead and stick with this one. I'm going to go ahead and change some of the things on the website here. So I'm gonna make this like a nice dark gray. Awesome, looks good. So I'm pretty much done with the website. I'm just going to publish it now. 
and then show it to you guys. And I'll give you guys a little tour of my website, techgirlbriana.com. So if you'd like to see any important updates on what's going on with me, make sure to always check out my site. So this is techgirlbriana.com. This is my homepage. It was very easy to fill out. I just used a template and I just changed around the colors a little bit because I wanted more minimalist looking. I didn't want all these like bright colors. Um, and I use like a stock photo image here that came with the site. And then this is the about me section and yeah, some good information. And then a contact section. There's a little form here you can fill out and then you hit submit when you know it's done. Um, yes, yeah, sign you fill out the field. Um, and then when you click YouTube channel, it just goes to my channel. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like 15% off your web hosting services, then go ahead and use my code Brianna when you are checking out on their site. And I hope that helps you out. All right, I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Bye.